Hi guys, welcome back to another little geeky reviews. This time we are going to be going through the Snake Men. So the three of them that we're going to be going through is Ratlaw, Cobra Khan and also Tongue Lasher. Again we're going to go through the box art straight away. So we'll start off with Tongue Lasher. You've got them there fighting hopefully the upcoming release. Fingers crossed of Cyclone. So we're probably touch wood looking at this coming maybe 2024 sometime. Below that box art there you have got, well, below the card art you have got the uh, cross cells with the tongue and the weapons that tongue lasher comes with. And then also on the right of that, all the figures that came out within this wave. In the middle there you've got Cobra Khan. The box art you have got a uh, flying fist he man i think that may be is it flying fist or is it snake armor not too i think it might be snake armor he man but at the back of him there extender so again he's not been released yet either so will he become next year in 2024 who knows below that you've got the cross cells of the little spray action type of thing that came with Cobra Khan and on the right of that all the other figures that came within this release as well moving on to Ratlaw so you've got him there with the snake armor He-Man in the background the upcoming August 2023 release ish Snake Mountain And below that, the little two cross cells of what you can do with the figure as well. And on the right, the other figures that came out with this release. So if we start off with Ratlaw. So he comes in this like burgundy type of red colour. Blue stripes. Down the arms, legs. And he's got this little snake man type of weapon his head pops off at the neck and then you can also pop the neck off so it's a separate type of piece and you can just put his head straight on but look how stubby his head looks looks a bit weird without that long neck but he does also like a baby's rattle but articulation with the head up down left right side to side arms do pop off rotation around the hands pops off at the waist also ball joints on the thighs knees and feet his tail is quite a flexible type of rubber as well so there's Ratlow. So moving on to Tongue Lasher. He comes in this vibrant type of pink and purple. With an orange chest with the snake logo on the front. But again for rotation. Head up and down. Left and right. Arms pop off like every other, other one. So arms pop off like every other origin. The hands do the hands do pop off. So you can mix and match. Pops off around the waist. Ball joints on the thighs, knees, and also feet. So tongue lasher actually comes with a removable tongue because in the 80s he did have a like a little wheel that you could spin up and down which brought his tongue in and out but now it's just like a very thin latex type of rubber so but it can either be pointed down or flip it the other way for that little tongue rasp 
So he comes with the same type of staff, snake staff as Ratlaw, but this time in purple. So do if you're looking really close, if the camera does pick this up, it has got quite a bit of detail in the actual staff and it's also got the little rattle at the bottom as well and the head of it is quite detailed also for his hands now he's only got three fingers on his hands so the staff would need to lock in between the three and just twist round so he can hold onto it there he comes with like a crossbow type of butterfly moth type of look on it so it's all fixed though fixed plastic it literally doesn't act like a crossbow just looks like one but again because he's got his three fingers just twist that round it would slide through from one finger on the other side and two fingers on the other like so and there he is tongue washer last one we have Cobra Khan now in the 80s he did have a push button on the back uh, no, no it wasn't I'd tell a lie his head actually it was like a um, a water pistol so his head actually had a a fill up container where you slid through and you pushed up and down on his head to squirt water out so the origins doesn't come with that feature it comes with just a little like slime squirt type of um, resiny plastic with a little bung on the end and now he's got a hole in his mouth where it just slots in like so for articulation wise his head now now that it, it's not the pump action his head does move up and down twist round side to side the paint variations that I think are just the same as the AZs. Arms pop off as usual, as all other origins, the majority of them anyway. Um, ball joints on the wrist, 360, hands do pop off, so you could swap with other type of figures. Splits off at the waist, ball joints at thighs, so on and so forth, all the way down to the feet with the ball joints. The paint detail on his head also. So big bright green, white round his mouth. But he does come with a little tiny orange gun weapon. So one of his hands is out pointed but the other one is clasped in. So you just pop the weapon in and there he is. So we're going to finish this one off with the 360, again drop us a like, drop us a sub, comment which snake man variation do you like, but thanks again for checking in guys, I will drop another vid next week, I will see you soon, and have a good week, catch you later.